in these moments <laughs> right now where I go back to thinking about anything is possible. Anything is possible. Have you ever wondered how artists create their art forms? If you're up for it, I'll take you with me through my artistic process from beginning to end of projects with my Looking Into the Light series, sparking that light of inspiration and creativity inside of you is possible when you open to it. Join me in handcrafting an extraordinary life by joyfully creating with the light. I'm Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. Today I'm making Sierra Moon's purse hooks for the interior of their building. Transferred the design onto the bronze and the stainless and we're gonna plasma cut and get it rocking and rolling. I hit those suckers and knock anything out in case there's a critter in there waiting to get into my ears. <laughs> I'm gonna use just my cutoff wheel because um, it's just a really thin blade and I need really thin right now. because it just feels like a good idea. This is just the bottom of an old tank. When I was walking into Washington, D.C., I found this peel on the street, and I picked it up because I thought it might be good for this, and it is fabulous for this, so very, very cool. So I'm gonna get this lined up and get her done. I just did a little bit of cleanup in here and now I'm gonna inlay stainless in between the bronze so that the um, logo just pops so it's 
really fun to do. It's super, super fun. Technical, really tight weld, so lots of points. Points are tricky. Points are very, very tricky. So just, it looks so good though. Both of them are, we're getting there. I'm heating up, so this is an intense moment. Right now is the make it or break it piece. So I get, get really hot. <laughs> that means I know it's important too, is because when my body gets energized and I need to focus all attention, um, that's that it's my key to engage. This is amazing. So I'm just following the flow and I'm probably yelling because I got my ear things on. <laughs> so, so cool. So I started and, and I polished it down, which was one of my options originally. And it just, it's not done yet, but it looks incredible. And okay, here's the big kicker. Then I couldn't help myself. I found myself over at the anvil hammering and I did the edge like it feels so good it's so exciting and the coolest thing too is as I'm hammering and the angle that I'm hammering just slightly at this angle so it spins it for me as I'm hammering <laughs> so fun cut the stainless steel supports for the purse hook um, that will slide over the spacer and the hardware. So it's going to go like that and then that will be on the back. I can see with my fingers on. <laughs> there we go. So it'll be like that. That's straight. to put flat things on like this and you gotta alter the direction we run a small little bead just a little blop right there and then we're gonna weld to that little blop and that gives us plenty of room to move this sucker around and then do the full weld so that's what's gonna happen and of course today is a great day because I get to weld <laughs> I am tickled, just completely tickled. Once again, you know, I have ideas, but you never know what is gonna happen until it comes out. And holy cows. So, ah, oh, they're so beautiful. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs>